All righty, well, here I am in the spot I've been a dozen times before with the composition I've set up a dozen times before at the exact prescribed time for good light. Now I'm ready to take my nice, safe shot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Howdy folks and welcome to Pro Photo Tips. My name is Josh Cripps and you can find me on Instagram and Facebook at Joshua Cripps Photography. This is a series of my seven favorite life lessons I've learned by being a photographer. Now, I wanna talk about how business as usual is boring. I am anti-icon. The tunnel views, the Golden Gate Bridges, the Torres del Paines, the Antelope Canyons, each of these places is so spectacular and so famous within the photography community that they have become cliches. They are beautiful but boring, and you can find better things to photograph. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't ever photograph these places. In fact, there are great reasons to shoot the icons. If you're just starting out, they can be a great place to test and improve your photography. By shooting an icon, you have taken one huge variable out of the equation the location. You know it's going to be jaw-dropping. And heck, these places have become iconic for a reason. They're insanely beautiful. It's hard to go to places of such grandeur and not need to take a photo. So yeah, there are great reasons to shoot the icons. But for purely personal and artistic reasons, ditch them. Leave the parking lots, pullouts, and crowds behind. Get off the beaten path and go exploring. The uncertainty can be daunting when you don't know what you're going to find, or if you potentially are going to miss out on a great shot somewhere else because you end up splashing through a ravine instead of shooting sunset at Glacier Point. And face it, a lot of times that's exactly what happens. You try to discover some new vantage point at Horseshoe Bend and get totally skunked. Meanwhile, your friends are at the classic view scoring the sunset of the year. Yeah, it sucks, but the flip side is so incredibly rewarding that, in my opinion, you can't afford to not take the risk. Look at Galen Rowell, a giant of a photographer and my number one influence. That guy practically lived off the beaten path, and by doing so, he popularized so many of the icons we now all shoot today, like Horsetail Falls, Mobius Arch, Cuernos del Paine, and many more. As a more personal example, Take a visit to Yosemite I made a few years back. That day, the sky was full of dramatic clouds, and as always when that's the case, the temptation was to go to a safe spot, like a valley view or a tunnel view. But instead, I decided to take a chance and see if I could find something unusual. I started hiking up the endless steep switchbacks along the upper Yosemite Falls Trail, and as I did, the storm clouds began to break up and warm light was streaking through the valley. And by the time I got to Columbia Rock, the texture and light saturating Yosemite Valley was absolutely amazing. And I was able to take this photo. But as happy as I was to see that image pop up on the back of my camera, it wasn't quite what I'd hoped to find. So I continued up the path and came to a spot where it was possible to scramble up the cliffs along the north side of the trail. That put me in an unusual vantage point, and I was able to come home with an incredibly unique shot of Yosemite, which has since become one of my best-selling and most recognized photos. So what's the lesson here with this no risk, no reward mantra? Simple, get out of your comfort zone. I'm not saying that you have to scale cliffs or do something dangerous or unsafe. Just push your boundaries a little bit. Don't be afraid to fail or make mistakes or miss out on an opportunity by trying something unknown. You may fail more often than you succeed, but when you do succeed, it will be surprising and novel and amazing. And personally, I think that new experiences are the foundation to having an interesting life. So try something new, try something unknown, and make your time on this planet as interesting as possible. And for you photographers, this is a guaranteed recipe to create images that are yours and yours alone. And who among us doesn't want that? 
As always, thanks for watching. You can check out more in this series right here. For tons of free photo tips, Q&A, cool gear recommendations, and more, be sure to check out the Pro Photo Tips newsletter. And for the best in-depth photography and post-processing tutorials on the web, head over to the Nature Photography Academy. Until next time, have fun and happy shooting.